I have one question. How do you choose the best project manager? I've asked that question many times in my life. And you know what I found? The best project manager I've ever met is a good friend of mine named Karen Robertson. Because Karen Robertson is one of those people, if you ask her to do something, she will get it done. She has a way of bringing people in. And today, Karen shared a great speech about something she is very passionate about. I've known Karen for years. I used to work with her at the school district. I've gone to church with her for years. And I know her grandson best. And I was in church the day that her grandson was diagnosed with spinal cancer. And just how devastating and terrible that was when he was four years old. To have a little boy in church, four years old, stage four cancer, not expected to live. And a mom or a grandma who had to deal with that, who had to come to, to grips with that. Well, I tell you what, that day my faith changed because I had to deal with this little boy who was innocent, you know, having this terrible diagnosis. And, and it really challenged my faith, my faith in God. But I also was going to a church at the time, and the church was about ready to close its doors. It was one of those really dark days. And yet, there was somebody that really turned that around, and that was Karen. Karen always has had that faith and always that go-getting attitude that, that challenges you to, to, to take that next step. I always call Karen the spark plug. You want something done, you call Karen. And Karen today gave a speech where she shared with the audience about something she's very passionate about. She talked about developing a project, bringing us in, and I thought you did a really good job, Karen. You got good presence up here, great eye contact. You made eye contact with everybody, covered all the crappiness, everything. You had great gestures, and you did one thing that, that I think a lot of speakers miss, is you, you stood here with intention. You only moved if you were making a point. And I, and I thought that was very professional. It brought us all in. And let us see how professional you are. One thing that you did that um, I think you ought to watch is you, is you paused for a second and you said, I just blew my whole speech. <laughs> and I know you were kidding on that, but for new speakers, you probably don't want to do that. <laughs> I would suggest a little more backstory next time. Tell us a little bit more about Les. Ask us for the sale, Karen. You didn't have me pull my wallet out. So, That's true. Mr. General Evaluator. <laughs> but you did give me a flag. <laughs> Our second evaluator to be evaluating the speech by competent communicator Aaron Lloyd. The speech was titled From Disagree to Agree is Chris Kessinger.